share his glory with with anyone else meaning that god is not the me that he we can't share our uh god cannot we cannot share god's glory but what god is saying when he said i'm not going to share my glory with another you know what that means that simply means that god's glory is on you as the man and it is no one else that he's going to share with you. this is what he thinks of us and so he brought us from this place of being in darkness and being in the pit and he raised us up to sit together with him in heavenly places so we were at the pit glory to god we were we were a place of destruction but he raised us up to sit us together with him in christ that simply means the thing that you allowed to control you then glory to god now that you are seated with me in this position you have this power you have this authority glory to god in the earth that god is expecting you and i to walk in glory to god somebody give god the shout of praise listen we find ourselves allowing the enemy to run over our lives glory to god and not understanding the position that god has given us and the position that we have when you pray you don't pray from a low place glory to god when you pray you pray from a place of position glory to god and praying from this place of position you find yourself glory to god when your son or your daughter is arrested by evil spirits glory to god because you sit in this place and you sit in this place of dominion and power and authority you begin to speak to that spirit that has your child bound and there has to be deliverance that will come to that situation because you've been seated with Christ in heavenly places. This is the Lord has fell upon you and God has not changed his mind toward you, my brothers and sisters. His mind toward you is, I am not sharing my glory with another. The Lord has fell on you and there is a position that you have in the earth and there is a responsibility that God has given you and I, glory to God, a way that we are to move in the earth and we move in the earth, glory to God, with the power and the authority of Almighty God. Come on somebody, that's why it says the greater one lives on the inside of you, that the kingdom of God is and when we speak glory to God, that something begins to happen. So no matter what bondage, no matter what sickness, no matter what comes away, we stand from a place that when we speak glory to God, that demon begins to tremble. When we open our mouth and begin to speak and declare his word from this position, somebody give the Lord the shout of praise. above the senses Amen. so in your in your natural self you see and when you see when you are controlled by this carnal desires you see what you see Amen. and you see yourself stuck and you cannot get out the 
this is what doubt would do. This is what sight would cause. Yes, yes. You would see, and you say, but that's what it is. There is no exit. I cannot get out of this. But faith, it says we walk by faith. Yes. Not by our adverse circumstances. We walk by faith and not by sight. So, so it was. It's, it's like Elijah telling the servant, listen, he was expecting rain. And Elijah told the servant, I want you to go and see. So he goes and he looks out. He says, I see a, 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 a cloud as small as a man hand. Right. And then he, he, he tells him, he says, guess what? I want you to go and look again. Yes. And so he looked about six, seven times. Glory to God. And he said, I see the abundance of rain that is coming, right? And so, but he didn't, it didn't come, but he saw it. Glory to God. And so this is what faith is. Faith receives it before it happens. Glory to God. So we walk by faith and not by sight. Your faith has to do with your spirit man. It has nothing to do with your carnal nature. It's, it's faith. It's faith connects with your spirit. So God said, the word that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. He says, for the flesh, it profited nothing. So I'm not speaking to your flesh. The only thing your flesh does, your flesh is a house that carry the real thing. So God speaks from heaven and speaks to your spirit and gives you an assignment and a direction for something that you should do. And so God is talking about, listen, this is destiny. This is the people of God, the character of the people of God. Glory to God that when you came from out of the world, I, I, I've done something in your life. I've shifted your life. Glory to God from living in scarcity. Glory, glory to God from living in scarcity. I've shifted your life into abundance. I've shifted your life from living in defeat. Glory to God. Now I'm shifting your life to walk in the authority of Almighty God. I don't know about you, saints of God, but if you feel like you've been losing in your life, glory to God, I'm here tonight to let you know that you don't have to lose in this area in your life again. Somebody open your mouth and give God the praise. If you feel like you've been losing or you've been losing, glory to God, by the power of the Holy Ghost and the anointing of God, that you don't have to lose again. Because it is by faith that we walk. And so we receive the faith of God. We receive it. He says, you speak to the mountain and say, mountain, be thou removed. Be thou cast into the sea. And if you would not doubt, glory to God, but you believe the thing that you're saying, he says, you will have it, glory to God. By your mouth, life and death is in the power of your tongue, glory to God. They that love it will eat the food they love. By the words that you speak, glory to God. You are to guard your mouth. When you guard your mouth, you guard your life. And he is speaking to you that when you have power in your mouth, I want you to open your mouth. I want you to declare the word of God. I want you to begin to speak, glory to God. The things that you desire, glory to God. Therefore, whatsoever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive it and you will have it. Open your mouth and begin to declare what thus say the Lord. And when you open your mouth and declare what thus say the Lord, what my need is, and you declare that word, I'm telling you that God would begin to work in the spiritual realm and the thing would begin to happen. Glory to God. This is not, it's not ourselves. No. What it is, it is a gift. Yes. A gift of God. Yes. Come on, tell your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's, it's only a gift. And it's a gift of God. It's a gift of God. So you see how merciful that he is? I was, I was talking to my brother today. He came over at the house and we were talking about that. I'm going to talk about how merciful God is. And how merciful God is. Of, of how, how, how wicked that we could be. And live in our own lives. But here is God in his mercy. He loves you. He extends his grace towards you. 
and as wicked as you were, as wicked as you was, he would say, when everyone already wrote you off and said you're gonna die and go to hell, he allows you to flick your body. And when he afflicts your body, you lie down there. Your body is afflicted, but he gives you an opportunity to make it right with him. Yes, yes. And you find yourself, you make peace with God and you make it into the kingdom. Amen. That's how worshipful God is. Yes, yes. And so when we speak of it being a gift, how kind he is. Amen. How so many times we've disappointed him in so many ways. But he still extends his love towards us. Yes. And when he extends his love and his grace towards us, so it is by grace that we are saved through faith. It is not from ourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, so that we cannot boast. So it's no boasting. It is extending to God and said, Lord, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for saving me. And, 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 and so it's in us extending ourselves to God and saying, Lord, I thank you Hallelujah. for your mercy. Amen. Do we have any thankful people? Hallelujah. Come on, do we have any thankful people? Hallelujah. For his grace, for his mercy. Glory to God. So he, he has brought us from this place, brought us from being children of disobedience. Yes. Now he says that we are we are God's workmanship. Yes, sir. We are his, his own handiwork. Yes. We are God's poem. Yes. Created in Christ Jesus Amen. unto good works. Yes, sir. Now hear this now. The good works, it isn't by works. It is by faith. But because of the connection with him and because of what he has done, you're going to do good works. It isn't by your good works, but because of your connection with him, you are going to do the good works. This is what it's about. That he had prepared, watch this, in advance for us to do. He prepared it in advance for us to do.